Hello my friends, welcome to P-Wall Parts Channel. Sometimes I put something on display on the table. Sometimes I do a vlog. Sometimes I even get out rail fanning and catch a few trains. I've been known to bring in Hoghead P-Wall Parts. Whatever I post today, you're fixing to watch it. Thanks for tuning in. Pretty good there, young man. Glad to see you out here today. I reckon you wait to video our train out here. You got to wait a little bit. We're making a meet here. We're meeting no 322. I'm doing okay, except I got a sore elbow. I blame that on that car inspector part. You know, I told you he'd be getting even with me about something. Yeah, my elbow plumb sore. Somebody sneaked up here on my locomotive and put a big old heavy cast iron brake shoe in my grip. Grip, that's, that's what we call our suitcase. Big bag with all our stuff in it we towed up and down off this locomotive. Well, I towed it, that thing up and down off this locomotive. Well, these trains for, I don't know, a good week. Couldn't figure out why it was so blame heavy. I finally figured out why it's so heavy. Got a big old cast iron brake shoe down in that bag, buried up under some paper. I know it was that part. I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure it was Mr. Park. We uh, we have a discussion when I see him. He was kind of snickery last time I saw him, and, and looked kind of sheepish. I reckon it was him. What's high and wide? That's when you got a car in your train that's either higher or wider than what the railroad used to have in run up and down the line. They know what the clearances is in different places. It's like you're trying to fit a train through a tunnel or something or by a low hanging bridge. If the train exceeds those measurements, could, predict, could cause quite a predicament if, if they don't know how wide or high it is. But we got a high and wide in this train. Some kind of caterpillar, bulldozer or something just wider than the car. The 322s are coming this way. He got a high and wide in his train. Can you imagine passing two high and wides that won't clear, doing about 50, 60 miles an hour? He could make quite a mess. So they're going to walk these two high and wide by each other so we can make sure we don't have a whole lot of commotion back there we don't want going on. And I think we'll be sitting here a little while waiting for that 322. Might as well go over there and get you a soda pop, some crackers. It'll be a little while before we pull out of this side. What kind of camera you got there, Mr. Tommy, okay Tommy, I'll remember that next time I see you out here. You have that camera set up about every time I come down this line. Alright, we'll be talking to you later. You go on over there and get your soda pop. <laughs> 